Well, hi everybody, I'm your produce guy, and today I've got a great recipe for you. You know, with Easter coming up, for those of you who celebrate that great holiday, I have a pineapple stuffing that goes great with your ham dinner. It's wonderful. It's almost, oh, it's so good, it's almost like a dessert. But today, the recipe calls for one can, one large can of crushed pineapple. We're going to use this fresh pineapple that I chopped up here. Uh, today. Now this pineapple, I chopped it up. You know, pineapples, we talked about them uh, in our other videos, but one thing I didn't mention is as it ripens from the bottom up, it's tough to get a uniformly ripe pineapple. The bottom is pretty ripe, the top is sort of ripe. You wait for the top to get all the way ripe, and then the bottom is, ooh, it's a little overripe. So what I've done is I've taken the bottom portion this, two, this is two and a half cups of crushed pineapple, two and a, pardon me, two and a quarter cups of crushed pineapple. And I used the bottom half of the pineapple and then uh, about a quarter of the top half of the pineapple. So there's about three quarters of a pineapple in here, give or take a little bit. Only five ingredients in this recipe. We've got our crushed pineapple. We have one quarter pound, a stick of butter, one cup of sugar, four eggs, and eight slices of white bread that we will cube and uh, make the dressing. So I think we need to get started. We go first with our sugar and our butter. They go into our mixer and those get creamed up. So we will get those started. Okay, well that's creaming up. I'll crack the uh, the eggs. I'm gonna do these one at a time here, and we've got that about creamed up. So I'll add the first egg. Go ahead and get the rest of these done, and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Okay, as soon as we get that last one mixed in, uh, we'll go ahead and add it to our pineapple. Put the pineapple here in the big mixing bowl. And that looks great. So I'll bring that up. Go ahead and move this on into the uh, mixture here. that all mixed up <clears throat> and then we are ready for our bread. Now I have most of the bread already cubed up here but we'll go ahead and do these last two slices. Nice sharp knife and about five strips one direction. That'll give us the cube size we're looking for. This was, this was uh, the recipe calls for day old bread but what I did for this was pulled out my eight slices of a fresh loaf this morning and just set them out and let them air dry a little bit to stiffen up just a bit there. So there we've got our nice little bread cubes, pineapple mixture. That's going to go in along with the rest that I pre-cubed up. Then we mix thoroughly. Okay, now that we have that mixed thoroughly, I'm going to take a little bit of nonstick spray and in my 9 by 13 pan, I'm going to pour this mixture out. Here we go. I've got my oven back here preheated to 350 degrees and this is going to go in for 45 minutes. That's what it looks like going ready to go in. We'll see in about 45 minutes. Not really. We'll cut to the uh, next part.
Okay, we are 45 minutes later and a little bit of uh, resting time. Here's our pan of pineapple dressing or stuffing, if you will. You can take a look at that. It turned out beautiful. So let me uh, go ahead and serve up a, a bite and see how it turned out. Okay, so here's our finished product. You know, this uh, cooks for about 45 minutes. After about 20 to 25 minutes, you start to smell it. Oh boy, and it's good. And it, it just, uh, that smell just fills the house. And if you've got company coming over, just terrific. So you throw that in about an hour before they get there. And smells good, rested, and ready to be on the table. Let me just have a little bite of this here. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that is good. That is really good. It, it's almost as much of a dessert as anything. Great accompaniment, this sweet side dish with a nice ham that has a little bit of salt, saltiness to it. Great accompaniment. Thanks so much for being with us today. I am your produce guy. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for friending us on Facebook. Thanks for following all that we're doing. We sure appreciate you. Any suggestions you have, please leave them in the comment box down below. We'll look for you next time. Thanks so much. And remember, fresh is best.